Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be doing another installation to our tutorial series for 5M development. We're going to be showing you guys how to install and use Quasar Housing, which is the better version of QB Housing. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your remote desktop, which is where your server is at. I will put the link to Quasar Housing in the description to where you guys could get it. You're going to go into your server. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. We're going to use our dev server for the purpose of tutorial. And then once you got it downloaded, you're going to want to basically go to your key master, download it to your desktop here, extract it, put it in here. I have it in a folder called housing. And then you're going to go to where it says QS housing. You go into the config because that's where you're going to configure all of your framework. Config.lua. All right, so now that you got that open in Visual Studio's code, you're gonna scroll down, select your language, and it gives you a list of different configurations. Your framework, menu type, inventory, wardrobe, garages, logout, weather, and pretty much your help notifications. So for most of the stuff, if you're using QBCore, You'll put QB core, menu type, QB menu, inventory, QB menu. Your wardrobe is going to depend on what clothing script you're using. You could be QB, uh, QB clothing, Elenium appearance, um, raid clothes, R core clothes, AK 47, and of course, 5M appearance. So you get a handful of options. Your logout is drop. If it's ESX, it would be ESX multi-character or QB multi-character. Your weather is QB weather sync. Removing rain pretty much just removes the rain from the interior section of it. I think they have to get a fix for that because sometimes if you, if you do get rain, you'll see rain droplets inside of your house. Hide map decorate mode, you can set that to true or false. Your entity visibility, decorate distance, visit time. I raised that up because it's usually 60 is 60 seconds. Limit of keys is how many keys you can give to your friends on the server. Limit of houses is two or whatever it is you want to change it to. Owned houses basically much shows the blips of houses that are owned, houses that are available, bought houses, and showing all houses. You can set those to whatever you want. All your key binds are here for your free mode keys. And down here is your job section. So the real estate menu, if you're going to use that, you want that set to true. If you're going to use the boss menu, meaning you're going to use it as a business, you can set that to true or false. Enable delete house real estate, you can set that to true or false. Key house menu real estate is F6. You can change it to whatever key bind you like. Housing types is MLO. Shell IPLs, you can set those to true, false, whichever you prefer. And of course, the type of real estate job that's in your server, you'll put right here in these brackets. You could choose whether or not you want to use society. We use AP government in our server, which is kind of like a tax script that we use for city taxes. You could change the percentages, the fee, the agency fee, bank fees, and of course, the tax fees. If you're going to use a credit system, you can enable decimals, you can enable credit. So if you want, if they could, you know, make payments on the house, you can set that to true or false. And then the credit equity, you can change the percentage rate. Credit time, change how many time, how many payments come out. Sell furniture, you can set the percentage for that. Sell house, you can set that to true or false if that's an option. 
percentage sale is 50. Or you could change it to whatever you'd like. And then you got your word to sell. You could change it to sell, sell house, whatever you prefer. You could change the saying. Key house menu MLO is F5. You could change it to whatever key bind you prefer. And of course, your menu options, you could change all of these to true or false. You get camera, invite, give keys, remove keys, toggle door, decorate, set wardrobe, set stash, set charge. As for a smartphone, you can actually set a charger, which is, actu which is actually pretty cool. Set logout, sell house, delete furniture, and then change type. You got police raid item allowed, which means if you're using a police storm ram, you can add whatever items are required, or whatever you name those items for that, how many are needed, and auto close the door. You can enable house robberies, how many police are required, robbery items, lock picks, and broken distance. Police jobs, we have three because all three of our police jobs in our server are completely separated. This is for your weed plants. So, <clears throat> weed plants, excuse me. You can configure it to true, how many plants are limited, harvest time, police fire plants, Police can fire the plants, harvest items, harvest amounts of weed, and harvest amount of seeds. And you can change these to whatever you'd like. Additional item chances is the chances of them being able to be used or if they're going to be bad. And additional items you can add here. The rest of these are just your commands, which are pretty easy to remember. And the rest is just draw text. So now, once you've got all that configured in your server, you want to go back. Now, in this case, I don't have it, but you're going to have. So we're going to go to our key master real fast. And we're going to grab our housing. Be nice if I actually went to the top and actually had things organized, right? There it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, so we're at the bottom. We gotta scroll up just a little bit, and I we'll probably find it on the way. It's supposed to be organized by developer, and in this case, it's not. So, let's scroll up a little bit. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. My guess is it's at the top somewhere. There it is. And then you're just going to verify. It's probably going to take me back to a screen. It's going to have me sign in, but it's going to give me the download at the top. Then, in your case, you're going to have a SQL file. So you're going to choose which framework you want. You're going to take the SQL, drag and drop it into your database. And of course, it has an items.lua now. So you're going to open that up just to see exactly what's in it. I'm using a different version of it because the newest version is having issues at the moment which they'll release a fix very soon so just keep an eye out for that so this is pretty much all the different weed items that are going to go into the table if you don't already have them so you just drop the SQL into your database after that 
you'll restart your server and then you're just going to go into your server and we're going to show you guys how to create the houses themselves saying my dev server is offline I call it bluff no it's not a bluff I turn our dev server back on Rut roll. Probably because that's not the right one. There it goes. And then it loads up. And we just got to take a second here. I'll let it do its thing. It should take only a few seconds or a minute or so. A lot of resources here. It's going to load all the maps and all that good stuff. If you guys find this video helpful, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit the subscribe button and slap that like button and ring the notification bell to stay updated of all the upcoming content for this channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And sharing out the link to the video would be greatly appreciated as well. And then once your server is finished restarting, always make sure when you install a new script, restart your server. Especially, well, you don't have to per se from what I've learned, but I always like to restart it just to make sure everything is fresh. So now we just go and log into 5M itself. You go to your history, dev, open it up. And it'll load in all of your stuff. Once you're in, you just select whatever character you're using. This is my dev server, so it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go find a house to go make. I prefer to work in the mornings because it's easier to promote. So we'll go down to Mirror Park. This is, we're literally right near it. We're going to find a nice house to create. We'll do an MLO based one and we'll do one of each just to kind of get you guys a feel. So here we go. Here's one of the MLOs from Gabs. You can tell it's an MLO because you can walk in and out of it. So once you got that configured, 
make sure you have the job so in our case on the screen right there it says real estate manager you'll hit f5 just like we saw in the config and we're going to do create house and you can price it to whatever you want so in this case this house would be relatively decent so we do 150k submit it's an mlo now your zoom in and zoom out keys zoom out is e and it also brings you up s is back w is forward q is down again w forward s back e up q down and you use your mouse to kind of move around with it so what you want to do with this red line and these ais are so disturbing you want it, this red line is what you're going to use to create the poly zone which is pretty much the shell around the property so it creates pretty much a collision it prevent well it pretty much it creates a box that prevents collisions if that makes sense so if you want to make houses right next to each other the poly zone will protect it from colliding with one another to work perfectly so all you really need if you're going to want to decorate the entire yard you're going to want to connect the entire thing if you just want the house which in the, for the sake of tutorial you just go around the house you just go one click two you'll see a green line appear three and four and it created a big green box right around it and since it's an MLO you have to do a little bit extra here so you hit Q to go down and then W to go forward oh, oh, a little too low there where we're standing that's gonna be visitor entrance one and on the other side of the door visitor entrance two which will be right here and then you'll hit the backspace key for done and then you're gonna create your doors you take the red line hover over the door it'll highlight green left click the door has been added I always like to check around each of the parts of the house make sure there's no other doors that will enter the property which there's a side door and there you go then you'll hit done and you have created a house MLO based and then you hit H to visit can you know come with a, if you're RPing with a real estate agent and you want to do that realistic RP and they want to give you a walkthrough through the house You'll get your 60 second visit or however many seconds or minutes that you set it for. You can walk through all the rooms. When you're finished, you hit H. Go back outside. Where the hell did you come from, lady? And then if you're looking to pre uh, purchase the house, you just hit G. It'll show you all the property address, property taxes, agency fees, bank fees, and of course the price of the house. You'll click buy house, It'll you'll sign it, and then you'll be the proud owner of a new house. Well, then we'll use this house as an example. Actually, we can't use this one because it's already been created. Now, creating an IPL for an apartment. We'll move on to that one next. So we'll choose this complex because it looks relatively nice. These are a little bit different. You can just walk up to the door. F5 again. Same concept. Create house. Uh, this will be kind of like a suite, so 500k. IPL. Same concept. You'll create a polyzone. So I like to create the doors. Kind of like that. And since there's not really a shell, it's going to be multiple apartments in one building. You can kind of do it like that. But if it crosses over, you did something wrong. You want to try to keep them as there you go as close together to a perfect box you'll hit backspace for done and it gives you a list of different IPLs to choose from we'll go through each one some of them have complications where you fall through the map but that's at your discretion and which ones you want to use if you're creating like a garage or something like that and you want it to be like an owned property for just like a personal garage, you could do that. Warehouses and labs and stuff like that.
grow houses, a money washer. Forgery. Penthouse suite. So this would be more for like the casino. So just for the sake of tutorial, we'll use this one. So you'll hit backspace for done. And you don't have to create any doors or anything because it does it itself. So you hit H to visit. And you'll pretty much get to walk through the entire thing. I know the scenery doesn't make sense, but that just kind of comes with all of that. It kind of automatically sends you over to the casino. But when you go back outside, you'll end up right back outside. You can do the same thing to the other side if you want, if you want to make multiples. And now for the shells for just standard apartments. So we'll just take this little house, for example, back in Mirror Park. This is relatively smaller, so we want to, we, you know, by common sense, you don't want to put like some big old thing. This house could relatively sell for 85k easy for how big it is. So we'll do shell. And then you're going to create, obviously, your polyzone. same concept you want your garage to be able to be in a driveway or in the you know garage area so you're going to want the poly zone to fit there so in our case we're going to want to go all the way around the property as best we can to where it all lines up together and then you got your big green box you'll hit done and then your tab key, or is it caps lock? Yeah, caps lock pretty much gives you all your different shells. So you hit caps lock over and over again so you find the one you want. And you can use your mouse key to zoom in. So for our sake, for this one, we'll use this one. It's pre-furnished. Or if you just, you know, you want, you know, you want your members of the community to do their own set of work. You could do an unfurnished one, but this is just a sacred tutorial. So we're just going to go through each one. That's an empty version of it, so we'll use that. And you'll just hit backspace for done. Oh, no, sorry, hit enter. And then when you're setting your garage... You have to do this while you're creating the house. So as the realtor, it's your job to place the markers for the garage. So you'll hit F5, add garage. Boom. It'll add a blip marker right there. And you'll have a garage all set to go. So with empty shells, you'll walk in. And then they can set their own furniture by hitting F5 and they could decorate or do slash decorate you have to own the house so if you have keys to the house you could decorate it so we're gonna walk back outside there you go you sign it that you purchase it buy house ouch I just punched the door Hit enter. And you walk right in. And you can start furnishing. Slash decorate. Or if you own the house, you can just hit F5. Or is it F6? Can't remember. You can do slash decorate. Doesn't matter. As long as you don't have the real estate job, you can do that. And it'll take you directly to this decoration screen. So, you could add all your furnitures, like such. So, if you want a dining table, you 
you hit enter and then you just put that red marker over it and move it around you can use your arrow keys to move it back and forth I think it's I don't know which key it is to bring it down yeah you can bring it down with your mouse by holding over it and then use your arrow keys to kind of just move all that stuff around it gives you a whole tutorial screen on how to actually do all of this so there's an information tab you just click that information tab after you hit backspace so your mouse is to move it E and Q to lower it, left click to, and drag to move, arrow keys to move up and down, forward and back, and then you can rotate the object by using the number keys, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we'll just use this one for the sake of argument. There you go. And you just spin it with your number keys. And that's pretty much all there is to that. You can toy with it, mess with it, whatever you need to do. That's how you set up all your stuff. And then if you're going to sell your house, you pretty much hit G at the door. You can decorate it through the door. Toggle door lock, remove keys, give keys, access a camera if you have one our case it's sell to the state you just type the word sell or whatever it is you set it to in their config and boom house sold and if they don't want this house back on the market if you're a realtor you can hit F5 delete house and it deletes it from the database and it deletes it from the server and it no longer appears on your map but that is going to do it Guys, that is exactly how you install and how you use Quasar Housing. If you have any questions or concerns about how to use the script or how to get it working properly, leave a comment in a comment section down below. Drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribing to the channel if you're new. And of course, ring in that notification bell. To stay notified of content just like this. That's very helpful to you. It would be greatly appreciated. But with that said, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.